Good morning, YouTube. Good morning. And Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And oh, oh, I'm knowing oh. You got the beards. I brought the beards. You got the beards. I don't have the beards, so I'll wear the hat. Yeah. And that's the way we'll work we it. We already so. got one hat, but we share it. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, we'll take turns today with the hats. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Merry Christmas. Uh, and we promised you a big ignorant log for Christmas. You will get that. Oh so, my. but first we got to do what's right. We got it. There's a lot of thank yous. And here we go again. We got to set up the big table. Super thanks is Anthony Hengist. Thanks, Anthony. Thank you, Anthony. McKinley Getz. McKinley. Thank you, McKinley. In 977H Logger. Thank you Absolutely. so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. And a little shout out to Andrew. Uh, they gave me a call the other day to wish oh, everybody yeah. a Merry Christmas awesome. and Happy awesome. New Year's. And uh, we're going to have to get down and, and visit these guys Every one day. Every time I watch his video, he makes me proud. I told, yep. him, I told him about it a couple years ago. 17 right? years old, running that mill. Andrew's they Lumber. They Andrew's Lumber. That mill. And oh, also, yeah. also John Clark. Yeah, Frickin' Jeep. Frickin' Jeep. And his lovely uh, wife. Yes. And Sarah, yeah, they, they, uh, they, they're just getting over being sick. Yeah. And we got a happy 66th birthday to Rod, Robert Ronke. Happy and I, I hope I said that right. Happy birthday, Robert. So happy 66th birthday, Robert. All right, we got all kinds of stuff here today. Okay, we got some license plates. This one is from William Skaggs yeah. in Illinois, Ruger. And he that's requested a specific spot for it. It's going on the wall, right? Yeah, it's right. hard to pick a spot. And that's Alan, Alan Monteith gave us a, he was in Japan, stationed in Japan. Yeah, and that's service. a replica plate he sent us. And then he sent us the Three Stooges. And, and I don't know, is he calling us the Three Stooges? It kind of works. I like it. Wood but Alan, good. I think I'm going to take that one and it's going to go into my private collection. That, that's too nice to put oh, on yeah. the wall out here. Put that in the rec room. Jess Mason sent us one from Arkansas. Jess enjoys the show. He also has some health issues and said he would be here, but he's unable, unfortunately. Oh. That's a long way from Arkansas. Thank yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a little haul. Also, uh, Frank Reed. Frank Reed produces some music, and he sent us a couple CDs that we can enjoy. And also, you can show them that. Oh, yeah. This is a... Sharpener. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's good. Thanks, Frank. Appreciate it. There you go. Knife sharpener. And it folds up. It Diamond. protects it. Protects it. And uh, this would be good for honing. You could actually hone that circle saw if you wanted to. Yeah. It'd be like a file. You could hand file it with it, but uh, be good for pocket knives and stuff. And also, Frank Reed has a YouTube channel. So go over and check him out. He has one of them big swing saws that cut uh, oh. the big logs you can cut up and then down. And yeah. uh, he has a channel. Frankie Six Saws. Yeah, I, I don't know if that's his channel or not. And uh, Frank also, let us know if, if we can use any of your soundtracks in the videos. We'd be glad to, yes, to share some music. And we're going to talk more about this one right here at the end. This is from Pecron. This is one of them portable uh, power units. And we're going to do a separate little shot here before we start sawing. And we're going to unbox this thing and show you what they sent us. And we're going to see if it'll run our lights. That's what we're aiming for is running the lights. So if, if it works out good, I'm, um, this would be good. No gas. We charge it up be once quiet. a week. It'd be quiet. It'd be quiet. And people, you got to be quieter on that bus motor, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people say that I should talk to them there. I don't know. I could just move my lips. <laughs> and <laughs> and the big log of the day. I'm oh. gonna try. I'm gonna try to put a steel photo in here right now of the big log of the day. But you can see it in the background there. It's a big nasty. Cat. And uh, yeah, we've named it Big Nasty. Big Nasty. <laughs> we, have a, we have a cat at the house. The girls. He comes around and beats up all the other cats, and that's what they named him, Big Nasty. Big Nasty. <laughs> he is about the meanest tom cat you will ever see. But we're sawing this for one reason. Bob wants some rustic paneling for his room we would never saw this log under any other conditions so <laughs> before everybody says why would you saw it because we can yeah so let's get busy let's go all right all right let's see what we got yeah. so drum roll please all right and this isn't the power unit this is just some cords and stuff for it and boy, they did a nice job of packing this thing. You could have drop shipped this and not hurt it. So there it is, the little power unit here. And they're saying that this thing will handle, I believe, 1,500 watts. And I think it will do a surge 
of around 2400 watts. Oh, you got 12 volt or charge phones or... Yeah, you got your USBs, you got uh, all kinds of stuff for uh, charging different things. You got your cigarette lighter um, port. So just say you had one of them little air compressors or something, I bet yeah. you it would work for that to air up a tire. Um, I believe these are probably breaker resets. It's, there, there's a book in there. It's, DC out and AC out, so yeah. it's capable of doing both. So this is the inputs here on this side. This is right here. If you want to open up that case there, they give you a nice AC charger. It'll go right into this port here. And I did charge it up. It came, I think it had 65% charge in it when, when I got it. It did not take very long to bring this up to full charge. But yeah, they give you all the adapters. Uh, this is the actual AC charger. Um, this right here would be your, this would be your output for your uh, 12 volt. And you could run all kinds of other stuff on there. And you can run it, they, they do sell a solar panel to charge it. And, uh, but this is our first look at it. So we, we did not rehearse none of this. It's like well built. And it is, uh, it's, it's very light, but basically it's a, it's a big battery. And uh, we're gonna try it out in our lighting today. And uh, we'll see how it works out on that. So we'll give you a time of how long it actually ran the batteries. But yeah, they give you three, three plugs. And It'd be really nice for camping. Oh yeah, I mean, or if uh, the power goes quiet. out. Quiet. Yeah, yeah, the power goes out and you're sitting in the dark. Well, you wouldn't be sitting in the dark. It won't run nothing large, but it don't put off fumes. You don't have to worry about gassing it up. And well, let's, let's, let's give it a whirl. Let's give it a whirl on the lights here, and then we'll be back to you here in a minute. Um, All right, now we're going to get this thing uh, powered up here, and you're just going to hold in the button. It's going to come on and gives you a little, little bit of a fan. So it's telling you. Six hours or, I don't know how, I'm not sure how that timeline means, but it is at 100%. So, here we go. I'm going to plug in one bank of lights here. We have never tried this before. So, we got some LEDs. There's two of them going now, okay? We have this on two separate plugs. Sorry about the camera here. As John Clark would say. So, we're going to plug in the other bank here. What do you know? So, let's see. We're gonna see how long it's gonna run these lights. Uh, we normally saw for a few hours on a Saturday, and if this will handle it for that timeline, this will be perfect. I'll take it home every day when we're done, plug it into the wall, and basically fill it up with gas, so. It's quiet. Yeah, I can't even, it can't hear it run. And yeah. here's what we're using before. Which is good. This is and it worked out very good. It was a Predator, uh, but it has something up here called gas gas cap. So this don't have a gas cap. You plug it in. So anyhow, let's uh, let's get to saw in here, and we'll see how long it runs our lights. Alrighty, let's make you a Christmas video. Get the bus motor fired up here. A little a little chilly, but not bad today. Just making sure I have my my microphone on and I'm just looking at the camera he's getting things going here I'm gonna make sure my tapers are pulled back looks good so it's gonna be a big one, children so we're gonna have to open up the knees a little bit today Let's bring the first and only victim up. So, this will be fun. We would not solve this for any other reason. Bob did need some rusty boards, so we're just kind of anxious to see what we get out besides aggravation. I'm not even sure if the stop and loads are gonna kick it or not. We're gonna find that out in a minute. Begin. 
begins. There it goes. Just got to get under it the right way. We're going to go very slowly. Pull up just a little bit on the carriage. There we go. And let's see if Chewy can do anything about this old girl. I kind of marked a uh, opening face. It was sitting kind of nice on the log deck. So I drew you a little funny face. And Mr. Laser says that's way too much, guys. Let me push it back. It's kind of happy where it's sitting. I'm gonna open up just a little bit more. Let's start there. Let's put the master dog down. Doggies up, doggies out, and let's see if they grab. All right, that wasn't so bad. Look at the face on that log. The face of being scared. And we're gonna make probably a stop sign at some point here. I'm gonna see if I can sneak one one set off of this. Not too bad. And we'd like to thank the kind folks over at Tecron for sending us that uh, power unit. I think I can get one board. Then we can edge off of here. We're gonna go for it. We got little Donnie on the scene. If we need him. Okay, let's get past the saw. And we'll let the Eddie Horvath do a little cleanup on aisle six. Yeah, just give them a little little trimmage. All right. So far, so good. Just a little bit, Eddie. You don't need to get too deep in that. We're gonna make a stop sign here in a minute. And we already got one usable board off of it already. Just clean up them little overhangs, that's all. Because that'll come back and haunt me in the end. That's good. Yeah, so I got to return to that face. That would be a problem. All right, let's roll it back. We're gonna do the typical stop sign maneuvers here. And if you're new to the channel, you've never seen this, we don't have a top saw. So, this is how we deal with this situation. All right, let's start getting a usable board again. That really don't waste much lumber. There's people argue that all the time, but uh, 
actually going to get a decent board or two out of this thing. All right. And we're going to keep whittling down until we get down to that magic number. And if you're new to the channel, the magic number means what we can cut through. So let's get Master Dog out of the way. And this log is not happy right now. At all. I'm just trying to whittle something off of it, that's all. I don't like the way that's sitting. So, we're going to do something different here, everybody. I don't want to kink my saw for no reason. So let's bring that down around. There's a flat spot we can take advantage of. Coming up here. There it is. So let's back the knees up. start over again I think we're gonna we're gonna be we're gonna be okay here no master dog now so let's get the dogs let's get the dogs holding it let's start there it just takes a minute but it's all right we're doing this just for a Christmas video again we don't do this all the time This is ugly, but I love it. That's actually some pretty lumber, believe it or not. I think Eddie's even digging on it. to do some more whittling yeah all right we got 25 inches 26 inches I'm gonna try to take advantage of putting too close to that knee okay so let's see if we can bring that completely around and you can see the logs already starting to behave better you're going to get a boom. There's a boom. All right. Let's bring it forward. Let's start there. Just to see where we're clearing. Start wheeling her down. I'm going to take a shim off of that just to see if we get a face he can edge a board out of that next one. That's better. Gotta get a one usable board. We are so close to our magic number, it's unreal. Hopefully Eddie can bust this off of here. Beautiful. That'll come right off at the edger, just where the head block base is. A visit here from Doug Spencer, one of our subscribers. He's from, I can't remember the town in Ohio. He had come out just to say hi and Merry Christmas and all that. He's got 
such nice people supporting us. Appreciate it. This channel would not have got where it's at without all of you. Everybody's watching this right now. Newcomers, people have been around since we started. We appreciate it, we really do. There's a boom. And I think this here is going to get us down to our magic number. There's Mr. Laser. There we go. Let's make this happen. There's 24 and a half. Three and a half. I got, uh, you know what, we're not going to clear that, so let's, uh, let's pull one more face out. Sounds like I got uh, the bus motor starving for fuel again. Every once in a while we address that problem and it goes away for a few months and then there's a boom. That face ain't going to work. Let's just get down to 22. We're going to just take a uh, cut off of this. Let's try that. I'm going to clean that face up. We're just going to struggle to get down to our 22. There's 22 and a half. another face out and see if we can get through this bad boy. There's a boom and that's the perfect face. You got the taper on it. Just take advantage of it. Alright, let's just clean this up. There's Mr. Laser. Alright, let's get, a, get her nice and flat again. That just threw some stuff at the cab. There you go. Yeah, we're going to have to probably shut down for a minute and do a little bit of fuel filter. It's alright, it's alright, it's alright. It didn't push out even. Alright, we're down to 22. So let's get one more face to clean up. Other face. 
face out. Now we'll get a square can and we'll start moving with it. There's just a lot of wood here, buddy. All right, let's clean this up. We're gonna have to, we're, I think we got a fuel filter that's uh, giving us an issue here, Eddie. We might have to pause for a station identification here. Let's just take five here. Let's take five here. So we'll catch you here in a minute. We hope to be back in business here. Your bus motor's getting the prime back up. There it is, we're primed back up everybody. I'm just gonna just double check where we're at here. But I get interrupted in the middle of sawing. Sometimes I forget what I was doing when I left. So, with the bus motor, with the new attitude here, you wanna ease into these cuts slowly. You don't wanna, don't wanna do some saw jamming while you're This will be the last one we need to clean up. Yay! But we're filming what's real here, everybody. This is what happens. Um, I know there's a hundred solutions to every problem, but we got it figured out pretty good. We've been doing this for a long time, better part of our lives. So looks good all right let's see if we can make some boards now we are below our magic number and that's a good thing it's going to take a while to get an actual square can here so i got to pull up just a little bit A nice little boom. Okay, the only problem with when you when you're doing this barrel sawing, whatever you want to call it, making a stop sign, you have to come back and usually clean up faces. All right, let's see what that does. I see Mr. Laser flickering there. hard to keep a parallel can't face. That looks pretty good actually. Actually this log's producing much better lumber than I thought it would ever produce. Alright, both faces are now below the magic number. So we're going to whittle this down. Until we get to maybe a 1 by 12. We're going to work both faces inner and outer. Yeah, we're going to we're going to turn this right now. We're getting into some And I figured this was going to happen. It's not a nice log by any means, but he could get a board top and bottom of this mess. So let's uh, bring it all the way around. That was a nice little boom. Alright, this is a better face here. You'll get a lot better lumber out of this. going to go with it. Again, this is for a, just an accent wall. And that little spot that Chewy just messed up, that, that'll go away on the edge. Or a lot of people get concerned about that. I don't get concerned about that. 
There we go, look at that beautiful little spot in the middle there. into that rod again I'm gonna pull one more for the heck of it because we can edge a top and a bottom out of that and still end up with some nice uh, top and bottom looks nice just point that out to Eddie all right let's work north and south eventually we're all going to get into that rod I think he only needed a little bit over 100 board feet, so we're in good shape. There we go. Beautiful. Let me uh, put the doggies away. We don't need them all the way out. All right, we're going to wait for Mr. Laser. There he is. We're going to take a little. We're going to clean this up because. I don't know how square we were. A little bit of man glitter for you. We actually caught it pretty decent, believe it or not. And them saw marks would be beautiful on an accent wall. A lot of people, they buy mantles off us and they said, man, Make it as rough as possible. We want them saw marks in it. This is kind of the same thing. And I got them little pieces falling out I don't like. Hopefully we get past that. Got some staining coming up here. Yep, we made it past that chainsaw cut. We still got a 16 by 16 can sitting there, believe it or not. Take one more off of this side. We'll work the other side a little bit. Before we get into totally unusable lumber. Alright. Let's roll her around. I'm going to turn right here this time. There we go. Beautiful. Let's see where we're at. I don't know if this face is quite... Should I take a thin off? Yeah, I'm going to take a thin off. I think his face might not be quite true. It weren't too bad, but we're all right. This is going to turn into something we're going to probably just slab it off and fix slabs to get rid of it once we get to all the unusable. It's a 10 foot log, he needs 8 foot boards. So he has options here. Not very nice. I'll oh, take one more, then we'll work the north and the south, which are bad. <laughs> yeah, we're getting into we're getting into a bunch of nothing here now. And this is why you don't. These aren't the logs you want to saw. 
unless you're just having some fun. And like I said, Bob's going to use it anyhow for his accent wall. Okay, we should be a little bit of man glitter there. And once stuff wants to start flying, I'm just going to block it. pull two inches off we're just getting rid of it now it's too heavy to pull off one chunk that is not safe at all there I'm gonna have to go out and pull that little if I can get a hold of it. Well, let's try to turn another face out. I just want to chunk it off of here. We might be cutting that off a little Donnie before this is all over. Yeah, that's all shattering. We're not gonna trust that. So here's what we're gonna do. Safest thing. All right, everybody. That's all I could do with this. No sense of breaking equipment or getting someone hurt with flying objects. So we'll catch you here at the end. And there it is. And we're gonna talk about this uh, power unit again. It, it did a really, really good job. It ran 800 watts of them LED lights for about 45 minutes and then it said I had enough but that's asking a lot yeah. for something that small it, oh, it did yeah, a, it sure. did a really good job and uh, would really like to thank the, the people at uh, Pecron for sending us that and uh, th there'll be a link in the description and uh, you can get them on Amazon yep. and uh, I will leave that in the description I actually think this is we got to read up. I think this might actually be a phone charger that you could lay your Just set your phone on. Set your phone yeah, on there. Out like it would be. Yeah. So that. that would be a nice feature. And we didn't do enough reading on it, but if we can figure it out just by taking it out of the box, we might have to turn this on, Z. That or my phone's not capable of that. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Let's see if it. See if it likes it. It's always good to read the manual. Yeah. <laughs> But we're, we're just Sawyers. Yeah. Uh, also, underneath it, there's Bob's, uh, some of his boards. And then also, that's your snack video, the, the pine boards. Uh, we, we, we went ahead and found two short pines. Oh, the smell here is just like... Oh, yeah, it's like Christmas. Yeah, it is. But, but it is Christmas. It is. <laughs> so, How convenient. How convenient is yeah. that? But, hey, everybody, I hope you have a Merry Christmas. And uh, we really appreciate you guys for what you, what you do for us. Guys and gals, uh, I, I can't say guys. Yeah. That's incorrect. Go over and watch the Eddie. Yeah, yeah. go go watch it. Time Eddie. with the Eddie. Time, time with the Eddie. Eddie or doing time with the Eddie. Either or. Either or. I it have, works I out good. good and then everybody says, ZZ, when are you going to start your own channel? Well. Maybe tractor time with ZZ. Maybe when I start construction on the uh, the garage initially. Oh, that would be a good thing. That would be yeah. a good thing. So, hey, again, Merry Christmas. Thanks again. And we will catch you on the next one. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Here on the Edmonds At the bus motor song, man.